Hi everyone, are you wondering how to highlight videos in SharePoint and Microsoft Teams? I have the right tip for you. There is a static page available in every SharePoint site that you can use to aggregate and collect all videos that are stored in a SharePoint site. Using this page is extremely easy to have a video catalog embedded in Microsoft Teams, for example. Okay, let's get started and I show you every step. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. In this team called IT, I want to create a new channel called Videos. Let me click on the three dots and then add Channel. Here I'm going to add, pressing Windows key and then Period, I'm going to open the Emoji Explorer. Then I'm going to add this emoji and then I'm going to type video. I'm adding this new channel to the team. Now for this channel, I want to create a new tab with a video catalog of all videos hosted in this SharePoint site. Behind Microsoft Teams, I have already the SharePoint site open called IT. Now I show you in the URL that if I type slash underscore layouts and then video underscore collections dot ASPX and then if I type return I will land on this SharePoint page that display and highlight all videos hosted in this SharePoint site. Then what I can do here is copy this URL going back again on Microsoft Teams and clicking on the plus button to add a new tab, I can select SharePoint. Then this page is not visible. So all I need to do is click any SharePoint site and here I'm going to paste the URL, this one. Click on save. And now what I have here is the video catalog embedded in Microsoft Teams. Pretty cool, right? Now I'll show you another thing. If you want to modify this page in SharePoint, it's possible. It's possible editing directly this page. I remember you that this page is a static page available in every SharePoint site. This means that if you type in the URL slash underscore layouts slash video underscore collection dot ASPX, you will land always on this page. But let's say that I want to change something on this page. All I can do here is click on edit and now I'm going to edit the page. As you can see here, something is changed. In fact, I have the header on top and the URL is different right now. I am no longer under layouts, but I am inside pages. This means that the page that I'm going to edit has been cloned in the side pages. I can do whatever I want on this page and when I have done, I can click on publish. Using this other approach, I have another benefit in Microsoft Teams. If I open, in fact, again, Microsoft Teams, I can click on the plus button here and using always the SharePoint app, I am now able to select immediately the page that I want called videos. Voila, it this one. It's already available. Clicking on pages, I can even filter better this page. Now let me click on this or this one. It doesn't matter. Let me click on save. And now I have the same page embedded with the header. I can edit this page as I prefer and customize it as I want. All right, we have seen how to highlight videos using an existing page in SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.